Okay, a quick recap. We've got our main page here of our ecom system. When we log in, if we have the right permissions, this admin menu will pop up, taking us to the administration side. Of course, we can always go back to home and back to admin, back and forth. The home is, this is uh, the user-facing website. This is the back-end administration website. Now, the whole point of this website is to sell products. So the first thing that we're going to do is enter in some products. But let's look where we stand right now. Right now, we have only the site controller, which came as the default. We've got our authentication tables. And when I say tables, I'm talking about the models. We have this contact and login form and users model. The only thing that we can do right now is add users and assign them rights through these authentication. We keep um, everything in the administration module separate and we've got our default but here's where we have our users controller. You notice up here there is no users controller so the users controller can only be accessed through the administration site. And of course here's our administration uh, views and here is our main site views. Okay so that's where we stand. Right now what we want to do is also look at the tables. Using PHP you can see here that exactly the models that we have are the tables that we have. So we have the uh, three here. Now this contact form and logon form came with the uh, ye creation tool but we have this users model here which correspond to this users table here. Here you quickly see the two users that we created. Okay so that's where we stand right now. But now we want to add products. I'm going to refer back over to this which I may have talked about is our overall ecom uh, design and eventually we'll implement all of these but right now we're just looking at the product here we're just going to make a product table manufacturers table and images table I'm um, also there is this inventory items table if I wanted to keep uh, inventory through the system and that's where the price and the cost uh, float so uh, an item a product doesn't have a price that is universally applied it's inv individual inventory items but for now we're going to we're not going to do all of that also this is a very detailed uh, description of all the product features that we would like to include and we're going to delete some of those but the way that I found is to keep this master list of all these tables that I want I even have a bigger one but uh, then what I can do is I can go to forward engineer Okay, and here I've got all of the SQL for those tables. So I'm going to go down to products. There's manufacturers. Okay, so let's copy that. Just control C. Now I, I go over to my uh, PHP my admin, and I could say paste all of that. The database here is Amazon. Okay, and I could say go. Now I have this new manufacturers table. Now I'm looking in here and I there's some things I'm gonna want to change. So let's look at the structure here really quick. I've got a lot of other things, but I am just going to keep um, some very basic stuff for now. So I could easily just drop these and I can always go back and add them later. I'm not going to have a description or an image URL. In fact, I'm just going to select these. I'm going to have uh, a name. And that is it. Yes. So here is my stripped down manufacturer's table with just an ID, a name, date created, and last updated. And again, we'll go back and put those other things in once we are fully in, um, created here. Okay, so I got my manufacturer's table. Um, I needed that uh, first. Well, not necessarily first, but I got my manufacturers, and now I want to have products. Let's see, product right here. Again, we're going to copy all of this. You can see it's got all of these foreign keys and constraints. So it might not come over as cleanly. Now I have this under Casey Wayne and we're going to make this Amazon. 
Okay, and we're going to delete some of this stuff. Um, I'm not going to have the same as URL, audience, brand, color, uh, depth, UPC. I'm going to get rid of all that. I'm going to leave in manufacturer's name, ID, and part number and the date created. Now I'm going to look at my foreign keys, audience, aggregate, brand, color, leave in manufacturer's ID, and then I'm going to take out some of these constraints here. Alright, settings, audience, brands, colors, conditions, leave in manufacturers, and go. Okay, so now we have products here. And I see it's kind of a stripped down version. Now, because I don't have inventory items, I'm going to have to put my uh, cost and price in here because I'm, I'm definitely going to want to have that once I show the individual products and add them to a cart. So I'm going to put them in here. So I am going to say after manufacturer's part number, I'm going to add two columns. One is going to be cost, and that's going to be a float. And one is going to be price, and that's going to be a float. I'm not going to require them. I'm certainly not going to index them. Now when I look at my structure, I have pretty much everything that I want here. OK, now the last thing is every product is going to have an image. So let's get down to our images. Here's my images. Copy that. SQL. Change the database to Amazon. I am going to have all of that stuff in there. Do not see. Okay, and we'll keep everything there. Now let's check one thing here. I know I made my manufacturer's table here. Check my relationships. Okay, I don't see anything uh, there that was worrisome. Product. Uh, let's check our structure here and let's check our relationships. Yeah, see here it says that I uh, tied it to uh, Casey Wayne manufacturers. I want Amazon manufacturers. Just gotta be careful that these are set up right. That's a foreign key name, that's same, and then we'll save that. Okay, so it looks like we've got all of our tables that we want. And now of course we're gonna build the models. So now remember how we uh, do the models? We just do the G here. Tool. And we create our models. We're going to say, hey, everything. It's going to say, I've got some stuff here that um, we're not going to change. We're just going to do the new ones. Okay, so we'll generate those. We go over to our NetBeans here. Now we can see our models. We've added images, manufacturers, and products. Okay, so we've got those models. Now, how about the controllers? Now we may not use all of the controllers, but we're going to go ahead and create all of them. And we're going to create not only the controllers, but the views, and we do that with the CRUD generator. Now remember that the models have to be written out one by one. And we know that we have, for example, manufacturers. Preview that. It's going to say, give me the controller plus all the views. Yep, go ahead. And we have a product generate and images and generate there we go now when we go back to our NetBeans we see that we've added these controllers but all of these controllers here I am only wanting them to be in my administration module so I'll move them down to my that controller remember the models stay at the root okay and I'm also going to move the views manufacturers 
product and images. Move those up to the module, administration module view. Now we haven't made any changes yet. And if we just go to the site here, you see I'm logged in. When I go to admin, I'm here. And if I wanted to, I could just say product. And you see no products. I could create a product. I want to clean this up in, uh, in creating a product. I want to be able to upload a file for an image. I want to drop down for a manufacturer. And that's why I had those two. Now I can do all of these and go to manufacturer. This is because the controller reside in this module. Again, I could create a manufacturer. I may want to clean this up. It's not something that's going to happen too often. If I try to just do this at the root level, even though the models are at the root level, it's not going to be able to find it because there is no manufacturers create. OK, so that wasn't a whole lot of accomplishment here. Just kind of set ourselves up. Um, the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to clean up this uh, model, uh, this, I'm sorry, this create menu. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a product here. And we're going to be able to upload an image from a file. Once we can create a product, we can then show it on our home page. And we're going to do that in a kind of a unique way using some jQuery. Show you how to do that. And then once we show the product on here, we'll start looking at adding it into the cart. We'll get into a little bit of an Ajax and, and things like that. But that's where we're at right now. Um, sorry, it doesn't seem like we got much done, but I did want to cover this.